Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the new content aware fill tools that are available in the spring 2019 update for Adobe After Effects. So if you look on the right hand panel, you should see this new content aware fill. If you don't, you can always check window and find it. But this is a tool that was first seen in Photoshop and now it's finally made its way over to After Effects. And it's a very powerful option to be able to select an object and fill it in with the area around it, allowing you to remove unwanted objects from the video. So here's a basic example. We've got this car driving down the road and let's say we want to remove the vehicle from the video. So it's just a shot of the road. The first step is to create a mask of the area that you want to remove. So there's many different ways to mask in After Effects and you could use any of them. In this example, I'm going to use my pen tool and I'm just going to make a selection of the object. Now in the layer panel, I do want to set this to subtract rather than add. And since the object is moving, we do have to keyframe some of the mask to follow it by dropping down the mask section, clicking that stopwatch icon for mask path. I'll keep that first keyframe at the beginning. And then as we move along, I'm just going to make some adjustments to this shape so that it follows along. To make it easier to work, I'm gonna set it to none mode right now rather than subtract just so I can see what I'm working with. And we'll set it back to subtract after we're done. So this is a average example. There's some movement in the object and the frame of reference, but it does help that the object is relatively small and the area around it is relatively smooth in color and texture. So I feel like I've got a pretty good mask around the object and now I'm just gonna set it back to subtract mode so that it's gone. And in the content aware fill section, we have a couple different options. Alpha expansion gives you some wiggle room on that selection if you wanna expand it a little bit past the outline. And the fill method gives you a couple different ways to content aware fill. The range asks for how long that you want to be content aware filling. So work area or entire duration and the work area you can change it like so if you don't wanna do the whole thing. This is an intensive process so it might take long if you're doing several minutes of stuff this is probably better suited for just a couple seconds on certain shots but once we have all that done click generate fill layer and you should see it begin to analyze your video and that'll be created on a new layer on top of your original video clip once it's done analyzing you should see a new fill layer in your layers panel and this is where it created the content aware fill so if you actually hide what's going on it's try to create a content aware fill within that mask. So when you put the two together, it fills in the area that was gone. Now in this example, I'm seeing some weird line that comes up. And if you're familiar with Photoshop, you've probably seen similar things. Um, for some areas, it does look really smooth. Others, I could probably go back and tweak it and, it and it should use some work. You can create reference frames in Photoshop to help After Effects manually. And you can always go back and adjust your original mask or selection to try to make it more precise. This is gonna be very dependent on your video footage. It's gonna be basing how it feels based on the pixels around it. So in this example, like I said, we've got a moving background and a moving object. However, it does a pretty good job in some areas. Here's an example of using the edge blend fill method instead. This kind of looks a little bit more blurred and blended, which could definitely work for different scenarios. It's actually giving us a really good result in some areas. I imagine if there wasn't lines, this would be a perfect method, but it still looks pretty good. I think especially for a smaller work area, this would be great, but it's all gonna depend on your footage and your selection and how long of an area you're trying to fill. So you can play around with this. I think it's a really solid addition to Adobe After Effects, really powerful tool. Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.